Hey guys, it's Lindsay from the blog Repurpose and Upcycle, and today I'm going to show you how to take these lovely 1980s bifold doors and give them a little facelift with some simple molding and turn them into cafe doors or saloon doors that push open and automatically shut. A couple of my pet peeves about these bifold doors is you can see half the time they don't even stay on the track. Um, also, they're starting to fall apart. The first thing I'm going to do with removing the doors is I'm going to take them off of here so I can take them down and then once I remove the doors, I'm going to remove the track. Once the doors are off, it's likely that you're going to have some extra molding that you're going to need to remove. You see, we're going to need to remove um, this. Let me try to turn around and give you guys a better shot of it. Um, see this piece right here and possibly we're going to need to remove this um, once we decide how much clearance we're going to need with the um, the new saloon door or cafe door hardware the molding off and you can see what I'm gonna have to do is go back and I'm gonna need to sand heavily I'm gonna need to sand down this area and then I'm gonna need to take um, some sort of plaster or something and go back over it smooth it out and after I do that I need to paint it um, keep in mind when you move from the bifold doors to the cafe doors normally the cafe doors require a little more clearance so with these cafe doors, they require an inch clearance. So what that means is the cafe doors need to be an inch smaller than the opening. So bear that in mind when you're having to remove molding. I have installed the hardware on the bottom and the top of the door. And I wanted to show you something real quick. This is the hardware that goes on the bottom of the molding. And just keep in mind, I almost made this mistake. When you're putting, the, this hardware is gonna go like this. When you're putting the hardware on the molding on the door, make sure you allocate for this little bit of clearance. Okay, so don't put this directly on the floor. Okay, so when it rotates, it's gonna rotate up, rotate down. Just like that. Okay. All right, so the top hardware on the door. Now, the, the way this is supposed to fit is like this. But I don't have enough clearance from here to here because I'm installing this at the very top of the door. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to turn it over and install it like this. Now, the tricky part is you're gonna have to find um, a screwdriver that will get in between here and here. Let me show you what tool I'm using. You're gonna need a tool, something like this, where it's got that 90 degree curve on it to really get in that space and turn the hardware to make sure it fits tightly up against the molding. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but um, what you do is you go ahead and start your pilot hole and drill a pilot hole and then go ahead and start your screw and then take your little tool and then you slowly and it's gonna it's gonna go in at a little bit of an angle but that's okay and then you're gonna take it and you're gonna screw it in just like that okay and because there's a little bit of a clearance between this and this if it goes in at an angle and it sticks out just a little bit that is okay as long as it's super secure and super tight Okay, and I'm finally done, and I want to share with you uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, because this project took a few different turns, um, some I'm not super excited about, but I'll show you here in a second. 
First of all, let me show you how these doors open. They open and then they swing shut just like that. And they close really nicely. I like, there's not much of a hole in between here. So the spacing worked pretty well once I took the molding out. And one thing I'm not real excited about, let me show you. You see this gap? There's about a half an inch gap from this door to this door. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do anything about that because that is because um, our floorboard is not level. So there's really not a whole lot I can do about that because I don't have a lot of clearance space in between here to raise this door, to raise that hardware up. So I'm gonna live with it for right now. I guess if worse comes to worse, I can always cut this door down. But like I said, I'm gonna live with it for a little bit and just see um, if it bothers me too much, which it probably will. But for now, I'm okay with it. Let me show you a couple cool things about these doors and the cafe door hardware. So if you want them to stay open, if you push them all the way back, they'll stay. And then if you wanna close them, you just give them a, a tug and they go ahead and shut on their own. So I'm excited about the doors. I love the color. I love the molding. It really takes the doors to like the next level. I feel like they look a little bit more expensive now or not just like crummy old bifold doors. So I hope I've given you some inspiration to transform your bifold doors. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again next time.